okay the last final covering video uh, and it's the major part of covering the wing so what we're going to do I'm going to do this in two different colors you can do it just one color but the technique is going to be exactly the same so the idea is I'm going to cover the under surface of the mids of this main section first then we're going to go over and do the top section then I'm going to cover the bottom section and the top section and I'm going to slowly talk you through it the key we have to be with this is the way in which we slowly um, shrink the film because what we don't want to do is just go mad in one area what we want to try and do is reintroduce the heat in sort of staged areas so we're slowly shrinking it in a controlled way so let's crack on and let's finish this wing okay so I've gone over the structure just had a good feel round just to make sure we've got no little bits of glue that are sticking up and it's all nice and smooth this is the panel we're going to do first I've cut myself a section of the film that's just big enough to come over here and there's about a sort of 10 possibly 10 mil either side so the idea is we're going to tack this down all the way around the edges to start off with and what we want is we want a little bit of overlap over the uh, over the leading edge and just a little overlap over the trailing edge like so okay so I've got it positioned in place I've got my iron ready I've given my iron a bit of a clean so the first step is I'm just going to hold this right on the centre line like so and then just quickly tack this in place See how just putting a little bit of tension on this, not a massive amount, but I'm just managing to take out most of the creases. If we do get some creases, it's not an issue. I'm going to talk you through how to get rid of these at the moment. Right, that is the basic structure tacked down. I'm just going to tack down this edge. intend to do is I'm going to tack this down and then I'm going to cut this just here along this rib about halfway along but I'm going to make sure that it's all tacked down before I do any cutting so I've tacked around the edges don't worry about it, it looks all wrinkly at the moment and all I've done now is I've just literally laid the wing on the, onto the hard surface like so and I've cut off most of the extra um, I'm not worried about this at the moment because that's going to come off but I've just got that bit of overhang here now I'm going to tack this down with the iron Just 
make sure that it's all tacked down. Because what we're going to end up doing is when we do the top cover, I'm going to roll the top cover over to protect this joint. Also, aerodynamically it works better because if we roll the, uh, this over the top, it means the air is not going to pull it up. So. Right, that's done. And then we're just going to do the roll the same with the trailing edge. Now. So the next thing we're going to do we're just going to very quickly, very, very quickly, just put the iron across each rib. See how quickly I'm just applying the oven and see how already it's beginning to stretch the film. So we're going across there, across the spar, like so. So when I'm happy, I've tacked all of that like so. <coughs> I'm just going to clean up this centre section, cut a straight line and make sure that's all adhered on that rib and then I'm going to leave this, we're going to go on to the uh, top section and I'll show you why. So there we go, that's the top section done. Um, the spar is slightly recessed so don't get sticking it to the spar at the moment, I've just tacked it to the ribs, rolled it over I'm not really not worried about this little bit of wrinkle at the moment so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm now going out to the outer wing right the wing one side of the wing basically tacked down now I've gone around to make sure that all my ribs are tacked down now what we're going to do I'm starting on the under surface first and all I'm going to do is the first two panels look how I'm just moving the iron round and I'm just taking out those wrinkles then I'm going to turn over and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on those two ribs Notice how I still look, keeping the iron moving all the time. Now, so that's the two inner panels done. All I'm going to do now is slowly work my way out. Doing two, bottom top, bottom top, or top bottom, whichever you prefer. Um, all I've got is a tin wrapped in some um, kitchen roll here. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to work these out. Now, you will find that as it stabilises, you might end up having to go back and get removing a few more little wrinkles. Another good thing is, just drop it down on the bench occasionally, just to make sure that you're not getting a uh, bit of a warp in it. But if you keep this moving, and just do a bit of a time, in a controlled manner, this is going to look dead peachy. Right. That's the centre section done. Now outer section, because it's slightly smaller, I might be tempted just to do a panel at a time. particularly where I'm joining two bits of different film together. I'm just keeping the iron moving the whole time.
there. <coughs> One half of a micro gentle lady wing done. Just got the other half to do in exactly the same. Now you will find that if you come back in a couple of hours time you might find that um, you've got some more wrinkles have appeared. Don't worry, it's you can just go back but I'm just making sure that everything's square. Lovely. So there we go, finished the wing of the Micro Gentle Lady. Um, worth noting that when you, if you do some covering, you might have to come back and, you know, I'll leave this in my cabin, we might get some uh, little bits of wrinkle. So just be prepared that over the next few days, you might just get the odd little bit of shrinkage. But there you go. Let's crack on with fitting the tail surfaces and hinging them and installing the gear.